से You wouldn't have found a person that wasn't buzzing with the news. I can't remember the last time those fans properly buzzing. Fans were buzzing when Joe came back a few years ago, but even then, I don't think it was anything of that standard. Everyone was just over the moon with it, and when you seen the pictures, they um obviously I put a few up on my social medias and stuff, and folk were going basically mental. It's crazy how we're. All United are in this one player, and that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's really ever happened for a long time, because even with the Joe stuff, like there was no this instant bit where you could then go and see him in a game and stuff. Well, he didn't play, but you could see him at the stadium, and I don't know. There's just a bit of a buzz around it, or a bit of a buzz, a massive buzz, basically, and I and it. I'm I'm lost for words really because although I knew it was going to happen because I know I said in my previous video that I only thought it was going to happen and I didn't know how or when I'd been given very reliable news that we were going to sign him so that's basically how I was confident that he was going to sign I wouldn't have said that if I hadn't been given the news that I did, I'm not going to bother saying who I got the news from and that's not me being attention seeking at all, it's just the fact that the person that told me didn't want me to say who it was or whatever and that's fair enough but I, I'm over the moon and having that guy back in a Dunfermline kit for however long we have him, whether it's just this season long loan or if it turns it to be longer than that I'm not bothered, he's back in a Dunfermline kit for a sustained period of time and that's all you can really ask for. It seemed unlikely with all the rumours that were going about, about how he left and why he left and why he wouldn't come back and stuff like that. They are all boss. They're all just rumours, that's all they are. And I'm just buzzing that it's happened. Obviously he's yet to be proven in this league but I'm really not even bothered thinking about that now because I just want to be positive about the full move. It's a brilliant move by us and it's one of the ones that just pulls the fans back on side if they ever weren't on side, if you know what I mean. Like, you've got to admit that signing Willow Flood has to be a way down here and signing Faisal about to it is a way, way, way up here. It's night and day, like, night and day. Like, you're never, you're never going to get Anybody would more buzzed than about any signing, far less we go on Willow Flood. I could go on and talk about how he did it at Dundee and stuff, but I think that's been well documented. He just was played out of position at Dundee regularly, he scored 8 goals in about 60 games, I think it is. It's obviously not the best record day, but that's mainly to the fact that he was played out on the wing, he was underutilised really, and he was completely out of favour by the time. It came to the end of this season. So out of favour that they didn't bother taking them to their pre-season training camp. Didn't bother including them in any pre-season friendlies or maybe one, even after that. I, as I said, he, he fits right in with us and he knows what he gets when he comes to Dunfermline. He's getting fans that absolutely love and adore him and the songs are back. <laughs> Ali 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 O oh, will be sung all season, especially if the guy does well. Imagine if he goes on and scores 10, even 15 goals. Be absolutely mental all season. The atmosphere will be buzzing all season. I really don't know how it gets better in terms of transfer. I don't know how we make a better transfer than that in terms of how everyone feels about it. Because folk usually coming back to a club don't get the same reaction as what they would have when they first signed because usually they've got an older like Stevie Crawford when he came back for the second time after he was so brilliant with Bruce done that it wasn't the same type of reaction because we just knew he was a different player and it turned out to be that he was quite a different player for his first spell. Some folk actually claim that Brewster 
made Stevie Crawford. But anyway, that's a topic for another day. The point I'm trying to make is that Faisal by 2 is kind of set our whole summer alight now. And folk are really looking forward to the season coming up. And that's something that wasn't happening when we signed players like Willow Flood and stuff like that. It's just, it's brilliant. And the only other thing I'm going to touch on in this video is the fact that Miles Hapolite should be signing today as this as you're watching this it might be announced but I uh, it's currently twenty five past seven on Friday morning when I'm recording this so he should be signing later on today. It's a dodgy signing and it's a weird one because we all know what happened at the end of that season and We'll just need to wait and see when they get behind the boy because he's now here and we can't we can't keep being fickle about it and hold grudges on things that happened literally just just over a year ago. Nah, for, for me it's water under the bridge as long as he performs on Adam Feldman cat I'm really not that fast. Certainly caused a lot of uproar when he died in that game and I remember it well. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it turns out all right. But let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Pfizer stuff. Let me know your thoughts on the Miles Hapolite transfer. Presuming it goes through. I'm expecting it to go through, really. And also, if you were there last night, let me know about what you think of the trialist Jordan Sheadozi. Because I thought he was really good. And he scored about 30 plus goals for Margate last season. He scored pretty regularly through his career as well. So. Do we take a punt on him? Because that would basically be our signings kind of done now. Because we would have what, four, five strikers if you include Lewis McCann in the books. And would have a good amount of attacking options if we sign Miles Hippolyte as well. Because he's another winger slash forward. We'll see how it all goes. But as I said, I'm expecting Miles Hippolyte to sign later on in the day. But let me know what you think. That's it for this video guys. I'm buzzing with the Pfizer news as I've said. I hope you are too. I assume you are. But I let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video which will probably be I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the next video will be. Maybe a match review for the World Cup final. If you did enjoy the video please give it a like and subscribe for more of this type of content. And I I'll see you then. Cheers guys. Oh,